Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you're having a great 2020. It feels so weird to say that. And the checks I wrote today definitely had 2019 still on them, but I'm getting used to it. <laughs> this year is going to be fun and different. Uh, we're starting off the year saying goodbye, unfortunately, to two of our wonderful staff members. They are moving to Denver. So, up a down a Denver version is gonna start. I'm super excited they'll be up there. Uh, that's Taylor and Andy. So we're sad to see them go, but we're very excited to see what they can offer for our fans in Denver and Golden. Uh, Andy will be based out of Golden and Taylor out of Denver. So we're very excited for their new adventures in life. And yeah, moving on to other things, uh, we will be hiring at Upadana. So if you or someone you know is super interested in what we do and able to and want to lead hikes and backpacking and camping and all that fun stuff, please shoot me a message or call us. I will be here all day, every day answering those to find our next best program manager. So moving on, we, let's see, I'm looking at my notes here and Indie Give is actually still going on. So they extended the deadline a few days to I think tonight at midnight, not for sure, but if you jump on the website, you sh still should be able to donate. We're looking for 35 more donors. Our last year's record for individual donations was 132. So we just wanna, mm, just wanna beat that a little bit. So 35 more donors, you can donate $10 or more. And if you donate $25 or more, you get awesome rewards from Indie Give. So it's definitely worth it. So 35 more donors or at least push us over that $10,000 mark. That was our goal for this year. So thanks to Indie Give for giving that little extension for all of us nonprofits. We greatly appreciate it. All right. Uh, also, huge thank you to those that have already donated. We greatly appreciate it. And your thank you emails and cards should be coming out soon. So keep an eye out for those from us as well. So thanks again. We appreciate it. Our events for this year. So for January, so we just have two right now. Uh, with our transition in staffing, we're trying to figure out what's what works best for our schedules and who's coming in to fill those roles, what they can do and what they can't do. So the best thing I can tell you is just keep an eye on our website or Facebook and stay up to date with those events as they pop up here and there. We might be mixing, mixing things up this year. So instead of third Saturday adventure, a hike might take place on, let's say a national free a national parks free day. That way we can take advantage of a national park free entrance day and get folks up there, hopefully um, being able to provide transportation for those kind of activities. So just be patient with us as we work out our new staffing and our events for 2020. Our for sure events that are happening is Saturday the 18th from seven to 10 is a silent disco. You do not want to miss this, it is so fun. It is the most fun I've had since I was a kid. You wear these awesome headphones Nobody can hear your music and it's silent in the room because everyone has their own headphones and listening to whatever song they want from three different DJs and you dance or don't dance or you do whatever you want, but if you dance like nobody's watching because you're listening, it's just here in your head and you have the best time. The songs are great. We have an awesome DJ, uh, Chris Gardner from Blue Moon Entertainment is coming and you're gonna have so much fun. So this is a fundraiser for us to kick off the new year right. That will be held at Local Relic. So thank you to them for hosting us. And also thanks to Legacy Bank and Trust for sponsoring this event. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, our second event is Adventure on Tap, and that's gonna be taking place Thursday the 23rd, 6.30 to 8.30 at Red Lake Brewing. Red Lake Brewing Company has been nice enough to give us a dollar per pint back to our organization that night. So be sure to come, grab beer before you head upstairs at Red Lake, and we're gonna have Kim and her friend Tanya they're talking about the 52 hike challenge, which also if you haven't heard about is a really cool challenge. I just got my stickers and patches today. I'm super excited. I'm challenging myself to get in one hike a week. I just did one yesterday with my family. We went to Palmer Park with the dogs and let them run around and that was also first day hike for January 1st. So I knocked out two in one, it felt great. So yeah, that you can sign up for free or you can get the sticker and patches pack like I did. And we'll talk about that more on the 23rd on how you can join 52 hike challenge. So I believe 
that is it. It's short and sweet to start off January, which is how I like it. And again, just please check in on Facebook and our website, or if you have any questions at all, shoot me an email, call us, we'll get right back to you as soon as we can. And again, if you're looking for a really cool outdoor adventure job, we're hiring. So hope to hear from you soon and hope to see you at our adventures in 2020. Thanks and hope your new year's off to a great start. Bye.